Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Luann Riley, Grow Group Director, and I'm here with Kelly Hickey, our Kids Ministry Director. And we just had a special Sunday where we celebrated VBS, and Pastor Ken brought a great message about loving God by loving your kids. Welcome, Kelly. Hi, Hi. Funny. We are so excited to have you here. Thank you for all that you and your team and everyone um, does for the kids. It was just amazing to celebrate today. And I'm glad you're here because we're going to talk through some practical steps. Um, you know, Ken laid out very well why we need to yes. disciple our children. And so just, just hear from you to give some ideas of where do we start? Right. Well, I think one thing that parents sometimes do is they wait too long to start. Not that there's ever a point where you say, oh, it's too late. I, I've missed out. I should have already been doing things. But even from the time that they're little bitty, before they have words, we should be modeling for them what it looks like to be turning to God and worshiping Him and praying to Him. Um, we've seen time and time and time again, little bitty kids who have very few words be able to truly, truly worship mm -hmm. Jesus or pray to Him with babble that we don't understand. <laughs> and it ends with an amen. Like they need to understand that there is a big God that mom and dad surrender to mm -hmm. and whose authority mom and dad are under. Mm -hmm. So we just start when they're little itty bitty by telling them the truth that God made you and God loves you. And he's the one that we go to. He's the one that we go to when we're scared or sad or happy or excited or whatever, whatever we're feeling. They need to see us having a relationship with God. Okay, so if I'm um, not, as comfortable with the Bible or mm -hmm. feel maybe not equipped, what's a great resource? Where can I start walking with my children or helping them with that? Right. Well, who is initially comfortable? We're all on a journey together, right? The Jesus Storybook Bible is an amazing book. It's an amazing resource, and it puts truths of God's Word into such a way that everyone can understand them. Mm -hmm. And I would just really sort of encourage parents, you don't have to know all of the answers. You don't, don't not have the conversation because you don't know all of the answers. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to have everything all figured out and be living this perfect, sinless life because only Christ did that. All you have to do is just be real and authentic because mm -hmm. kids see through everything else and just sort of uh, go on the journey with them. I know there was one dad who uh, decided to get into discipleship because his three-year-old was coming home just knowing things about the Bible and understanding things about God. And he wanted, mm -hmm. he wanted to be taught too. So feed yourself and then feed your family. Awesome, great, great tips. Okay, so I know um, you have the curriculum that they're learning here on mm -hmm. Sunday. And mm -hmm. as Pastor Ken so reminded us that one hour a week is a great time to worship and be together, but right. it is not the foundation that you can lay at home with all the hours that you are with sure. your children. Um, so how can we as parents support what you're teaching them mm -hmm. in the class and carry that out through home? How do we do that? Well, first of all, find out. We want them to come. We do want them here for that one hour a week. We mm -hmm. do want them here. Bring them, and then you go and have your time with God at church. Go join a small group mm -hmm. and then uh, have time with God. But what we want is for the kids just to go home and talk about what they're learning at church. And if they're not talking about what they're learning about at church, ask them. And if you still don't get an answer, ask us mm -hmm. and we'll tell you. These are the conversations. We're talking about obedience. Isn't that something that any mother yes. could use every Hallelujah. minute of the week? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, find out what we're talking so that we can support what's happening already in your household. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you to your staff everyone who serves just for all that you do to build into the lives of our children. Thank you. thank you. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.